Hey guys, so today I'm here to try and teach you guys how to colour hair in a realistic kind of way using coloured pencils, usually watercolour pencils and those will always be listed in the description below. We're going to be doing it with blonde hair today because blonde has quite a lot of different colours in it and um, I feel like it's a good example. So what I'm doing right now is the sketch which is essentially drawing the hair curl Using a normal pencil, just sketch a light outline of the shape of the hair that you're drawing. Okay, so this is the first colour I'm going to use. It's the darkest colour. This is because you go from dark to light, usually, and what you do is you look at the drawing or the hair that you're using as reference, and you look at the darkest bits, and then you highlight them. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I'm going from the darkest bits and just pressing hard in the darkest bits and then pressing lighter in the lighter areas. So essentially you're shading like you would with a graphite pencil, but it's just the first colour of many. With hair you've got to think about the fine strands, so make sure your pencils are sharp so you can draw individual hairs. But at this early stage it's more about getting an idea about what it's going to look like. Essentially what you're doing is highlighting where the shadows are and where the light bounces off the hair. Okay, so here I have a gradient sort of shading scale just to show you the difference between when you press hard and when you press softly. So what I'm essentially going to do is using the other colours in uh, order which will happen next, using the same technique, go from dark to light when you're drawing the hair strand. Okay, so I'm looking at my reference now and just going over a few of the places, just making some of the areas darker and then lighter and then just editing them. When you're drawing hair, often what you do is you go back and you have a look at what you're doing. Okay, so this is the new colour. It's a lighter shade than the previous one. It's still a, a quite a brown. And you might be surprised why, even though it's blonde hair, you're using a lot of brown. That's because blonde hair, although it is quite light, when hitting the shadows, you get more browns. This is the next colour. It's kind of a sort of caramelly kind of brown here. And again, I'm just going over the areas that aren't that need to be shaded. Now in fact you don't actually need a gold to do this. I personally used this because I liked it, it had a sort of different kind of colour. But honestly you really don't need to use it when in terms of uh, actually drawing blonde hair. It's what I happen to have. A lot of the time with these things when you're drawing you'll have these pencils and you'll go that, that's a good pencil, I'll use that pencil. Thing is people tend to ask me what materials I use almost like that's what makes the difference and it's not you get used to using a certain type of material and it becomes easier this is the next color it's uh, kind of like a yellowy type of brown so it's kind of in between I'm just trying to get rid of some of the white parts of the hair so filling out the lighter parts and creating a gradient from dark to light so this is a more golden -y kind of color and you have to be careful about how much you're using because if you press too hard the hair doesn't look real. So you have to sort of imagine or have a look at your reference and just make sure that you regulate how much you actually use versus how much the hair actually needs. Now here I am going back over some parts because one thing I always try and uh, remind people is that the first time you do something isn't always the last time you're going to use a certain pencil. So right now I'm going over the hair with all the pencils I've already used and just going over it and adding the colours, just how I think it should look. At the end of the day, it's your drawing and often, a lot of the time, you just have to go on instinct. Okay, so from now on, lighter yellow colours are being used, like this colour pencil right here. This is because the lighter parts of the hair, although light always gets reflected off of hair, 
it is never perfectly white so the lightest parts of the hair are going to be a very light shaded yellow. arguably the most important part which is the white pencil. Now the white pencil is very important because what it does is it actually blends your colours together. When you use a watercolour pencil what often happens is you get a grainy kind of effect. It means that you can obviously see it's a colour pencil and we want to get rid of that, we want to make it look realistic. So you blend it with the white pencil. However what happens when you blend it with a white pencil is that you lose the detail that you got from before from all the other tones. So I'm lying all the tones out now and these tones will then be used again after you've applied the white pencil. What you'll actually do now is apply the colours more heavily and uh, with more detail. Obviously this whole process takes a while, in fact it takes a long long time and you can imagine that doing a whole portrait or a whole head of hair takes even longer, therefore you have to have a lot of patience with this um, and just keep at it really. As you keep doing it, you'll discover that you'll actually be able to do it quicker because it will become second nature. So as you can see, what I'm doing is just using all the coloured pencils to highlight and make the areas stronger. So the dark colours are highlighting the dark areas and I'm going from dark to light again, drawing individual hairs and making it look as smooth as possible. So, after having looked at my reference that I've used, that actually happens to be Taylor Swift because she's got great blonde hair, uh, this is what I've come up with, which is using the technique that I've already explained, and these are the colours I used, so I said I'd provide a chart, here's the chart, so I've just sketched out the colours um, in little patches and in the order I used them, so from darkest to light. So yeah, that's how I use watercolour um, to draw hair. It's not as hard as it looks, it just takes time, patience and effort and a lot of observation. You've got to look at your drawing, you've got to look at your reference. For anyone wondering, I use watercolour pencils because they blend better. I don't actually use water, that is something that I should probably mention because it's quite it's often mentioned in the comments section, so there you go. Here's a look up close so you can get a better idea of the colour used. Uh, you, you know, when you look at blonde hair you don't think that that's what you're going to use but often when you're actually drawing you use a lot more colours than you actually think you'll need. Right, so next I'm actually going to draw in speed time 
An example of how hair colour works, I'm using the exact same techniques I just described to you. Remember this is a smaller piece of paper so the detail won't be there. Not like if it was a full size portrait, but I'm using the same techniques to just show you how it can look and how you can get a drawing to look in the same kind of way. For this drawing I used uh, someone blonde off the internet and used that as a, uh, as a reference. But anyway, yeah, I'll let the drawing happen and I'll see you at the end. turned out um the colors are a bit weird here they're not actually how they kind of turned out and the hair itself is, it's not the best realistic hair i've ever done in my life but it it shows that the technique is the same as i said it was a smaller drawing so it's hard to do the individual hair strands especially when you've got smallish like you've got quite um big pencils because they're blendy pencils so blendy pencils often break so you can't really get that sharp edge anyways so i hope this was really useful or at least a bit useful um yeah like a lot of people ask me how i do hair and how i attempt it and this is how i do this is how i learned to try it and the the, the principle of drawing or coloring is always the same with me if you'll notice if you go back over my other tutorials all the tools and the pencils are listed in the description below there's quite a few i use a few couple brands but most of them are watercolors one thing is that if you've been a follower of my channel, you'll know that I'm not actually, well, I'm not a teacher, I haven't studied in art, I haven't done any of those things. I just draw because I enjoy it. So these are ba these uh, techniques are basically based off my own experience, which just shows that the more you practice, the better it pays off, yada yada. But I just wanted to say thank you for if you have been sticking around and watching my videos, I really appreciate it. It's great to know I still have some support out there. As always, let me know what to draw next time in the comment section below because I'll always read uh, suggestions. And yeah, and if there's any kind of tutorials you want me to do or anything like that, just hit me up about it. Alright. Until next time.